type milling. Um, the system fire product line is more batch repeat work, where I'm going to make whatever, 100 of those parts, I'm going to do it two or three times a year. The one lock is for that one off. So oftentimes when you're doing this type of machining, you're coming in here, you're doing a profile, you're bringing a part up on end, you're now putting a profile in here, but the clamp on, I need to turn this handle 70 times. We're thinking, wouldn't it be easier if you brought the job to the part? Let's only turn the handle to actually clamp on. So I come in here, I mill my feature in here, and now when I take the part out, this is usually when you need a part change, or I'm sorry, a jaw change. And normally you would once again unwind 30 times so you can get an Allen head in here to take off your jaws, and put them back on, you indicate them back in. Can we make this not only a very quick process, but highly repeatable? So I don't have to come back in and indicate in this step. I don't have to skim cut that jaw. It is now ready to go. When you're doing work like this, um, reducing part change isn't important. I'm only making five parts. Right. Uh, tool change time is not important. I'm only using three or four tools to make this part. The only thing I can make more efficient is the person standing on this end. The other thing you'll notice about this design is the fixed jaw is now on the operator's end. If you look at a 1950s style of ice, the fixed jaw is always in the back. So now in the CNC machine, all your datums are back here in the machine, as opposed to being out here on the operator end where I can see exactly where I'm placing that part. Okay. So these are all the design changes that we did when we made the one lock, as opposed to a 1950s style of ice that was used on a knee mill that we're now throwing into a CNC mill. Now how much time can you save? That would depend on, that, that's a case by case basis. Okay. Um, I've actually asked shop owners or supervisors, stand on your floor someday and every time you see somebody turning a handle hit a stopwatch, do you think I can save you an hour a week? And they're like, you know, that's usually a very low number. Like an hour a week, if we use $60 an hour for machine time, uh, it takes you about three months to make up the difference between buying this and buying another knee mill or 1950 style bike. Interesting. It's your ROI.